I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise, Jesus. We're not just a church, we are a family, we are a community that loves Jesus, and we want you to experience the Holy Spirit in a powerful way.
Situla Kubanga, Elinare Yesu, Awonya Burichirwa de Elinare Yesu, Akabesi Bisoya Kara, Elinare Yesu, Ale Tebiru Jesu, Elinare Yesu, Elinare Yesu, Elinare Yesu, Elinare Yesu, Elinare Yesu. Yo 
Kato Fayo, Yagala Mafuta Toniga, Yes, what you might not get a guy, Yagala New Bato Fayo, Yes, what you might not get a guy, Koyo Pank is a tough fire, Yes, what could you be a better? Ne 
Nebola banga nyimba sanyuka munda musenya bade Yesu Nebola banga nyimba sanyuka munda musenya bade Yesu Nenda yo mulala eh tambula 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 omufunye omulabye nabye omufunye omulabye omufunye omu omulabye aya nebola banga nyimba sanyuka munda musenya bade Yesu nebola banga nyimba sanyuka munda musenya bade Yesu genda lyo mulala aya 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 Ofuna baba abebuza buza obera kire ko bagambe Eh Nebola banga nyimba sanyuka munda musenya mpate Yesu Nebola banga nyimba sanyuka munda musenya mpate Yesu Nonya yo mlalo mugambe Eh Kana kanyiro ko laba Kana kanyiro ko laba Zino sente zola ba Kana kanyiro ko laba Yesu atute muze Yesu avera muze Yesu atute muze Yesu avera muze Kana kanyiro ko laba Kana kanyiro ko laba Yesu atute muze Yesu avera muze Kana kanyiro ko laba Kana kanyiro ko laba Yesu atute muze Yesu avera muze Kana kanyiro ko laba Kana kanyiro ko laba Yesu atute muze Yesu avera muze Kana kanyiro ko laba Kana kanyiro ko laba Yesu atute muze Yesu avera muze Mumula mubange Na 
wogeza kuwele Bo musabati, musabana sete Aulilaba, ikilabi wuzo Ya itawa Kato, kato, da Ya bade mweneso Wadika mikone, wadika Hallelujah, yes, we are. What is coming to 
chili waneno gamba neiba chili waneno chili waneno chili waneno oba sanya yakala oba tayagala chili waneno soko buko chijeyu 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 Can call him a miracle. Katikata Ken, I suffer God 
who is powerful, eh? I serve a God who is mighty, eh? Pick it up. This God is a good God. Kuanakaluru! Ay, ay, ay! We serve a God who is powerful, eh? Now is it finally, 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 finally. Let me hear the chest sing out. Finally, finally, finally. Uh huh. The Lord has done it. The Lord has done it. Tell your neighbor. The Lord has done it. Pa, 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 pa. Finally, come on, finally. The Lord has done it. In your house today. He has done it. Testify. I testify. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. The Lord has done it. The Lord has done it. The Lord has done it. Come on, come on, come on. The Lord has done it. Finally, finally, finally. Justified. Hey, hey. It's the victory song. 
Amina. Chitujayo, 
Eri mchalo e masaka Kukari miro Kati na petuli wa Yesu mkubila nduru Yesu mwangele nduru The devil's camp is on fire Uru 
the house. I got to go to a channel. In your mouth. Hallelujah. One, two, one, two, three, six. Oksoka, Okokubiri, Okoksat. One, two, three, one, two, Ready? Hey, 
Amina. Katuba sabe mutuleko wansi. Na wetu aniliza emiga jama za malamu. Haleluya. Amen. It's such a mukama change. Chisa chute chite kilekeka mukama yesu katonda wangi zise. Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. God is good. Amen. How many of us are excited to be in the house of the Lord this evening? God is good all the time. And all the time is good. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this moment. Can you just stop blessing Him in your own words wherever you are? You don't need to stand up. Just worship Him. Just bless Him in your own words. In your own language and tell him some beautiful words. Just 
just bless him in your own words you can lift up your voices and think about the goodness of the lord his mercies his grace how he has preserved you the entire week how he has provided for you he has fought for you some some battles that you could not see and the ones you've seen our god is good he's glorious he's awesome there is no one like him he rules and he reigns you are the everlasting one father your dominion is from everlasting to everlasting there is no one like you our god there is no one like you jesus thank you holy spirit for this moment thank you lord We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We give you all the glory. You are worthy, Lord. Song says, Your name is exalted in the heaven. Exalted in the earth, hallelujah. Your name is exalted in the heavens. Exalted simple song let's sing together your name your name is exalted in the heavens exalted in the earth hallelujah Exalted, your name is exalted in the heavens, exalted in the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a very simple song. Lift up your voices one more time. Your name. Your name is 
exalted in the heavens, exalted in the earth. Hallelujah. Come on, let me hear the church sing it out. Lift up your voices, church. Your name is exalted. Is exalted in the heavens, exalted, exalted in the earth. Hallelujah. Ah. One more time, every voice, your name, your name is exalted. He's exalted in the heavens, exalted in the earth. Hallelujah. Let me hear the voices alone. Come on. Your name, your name. Church, your name, church, your name. Come on, sing it out. Hallelujah. One more time, one more time, one more time. Your name, your name is exalted, is exalted. Yes, Lord, exalt in the earth. Hallelujah. Ah. Just take, a moment, just take a moment, one more time, and just lift up your voices to Him and just bless His name. Come on, exalt His name above everything you're going through. Exalt His name. Father, Your name is highly exalted above today's service. We give You glory and honor. Your name is the highest. Thank You, Holy Spirit. Thank You, Lord. Thank You, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. At the center of it all, it is you that I see, it's you that I see. There is power in your name, miracles happen in your name, and as we lift a voice in praise. It is you that I see, it's you that I see. There is power in your name, miracles happen in your name, Jesus. Yeah, as we lift the voice in praise. 
It's you that I see. It's you that I see. At the center of it all. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. Come on. At the center of it all. At the center of it all. It is you that I see. It's you that I see, it's you that I see. Come on, lift up your hands, come on. There is power in your name. There is power in your name. Miracles happen in your name. Miracles happen in your name. As we lift your voice in praise. It is you that I see, Jesus. than the biggest, you are stronger, stronger than the strongest, you are higher, higher than the highest, you are greater, greater than the greatest, you are bigger, bigger than the biggest, you are stronger, stronger than the strongest, you are higher, higher than the highest, you are greater, greater, come on, you are big, say you are greater,
was finished. You were buried in the ground. But the grave could not contain you. Because you were the victor's crown. Tell him, at the cross the work was finished. And you were buried in the ground. But 
the grave could not contain you because you were the victor's cross. And that the cross, the work was finished. You were buried in the ground, yeah. But the grave could not contain because you were the victor's cross. Every hand thing must come. Hey, every hand thing must come. Down. Every strong go shall be
a shout in praise. One more time, say, are you on the Lord's side? Say, are you on the Lord's side? And when you raise a shout in praise, please, come on, somebody shout to the Lord tonight. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Somebody better shout tonight. Say, the enemies of your life must bow down tonight. Come on, if you believe it, shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph. Amen. Hallelujah. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Amen. How many of us are ready to say, as long as I am breathing, I've got a reason to praise God. I might not have that money in my pocket yet. I might not have that promotion yet. But as long as I am breathing, I've got a reason to praise the Lord. Do you have some people who are alive in the building? Are you alive? Are you alive? Are you alive? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shout to the Lord with a force of triumph. Go, go. Vibe, vibe, vibe. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody, go, go.
Listen, 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 listen. I know for sure we can do better than that. Everybody just put on your light up. Put, light it up, light it up, light it up, light it up, light it up. Shine those lights, shine those lights, shine those lights, shine those lights. Everybody, come on. Make it look beautiful. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Are you ready one more time? Now, if you don't have a phone, if you can't light it up, get a handkerchief. Get something you can wave. I'll praise God, you sovereign. Praise God, you reign. Praise God, you rose and defeated the grave. I praise God, you're faithful. Praise God, you're true. Praise God, there's nobody greater than you. I praise God, you're faithful. Praise God, you reign. Praise God, you rose and defeated the grave. I praise God, you're faithful. Praise God. Are you ready? Come on. Praise God, there's nobody greater. Church, come on. Lift it up, church. Come on. Wave me now. Wave me now. You're not waving. You're not waving. Wave me now. Wave me now. Wave me now. Come on, sir. Come on. Say I'm going to pray. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. Come on. Say I'm going to pray. Oh, my God. Somebody turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. We got a reason to pray. All the days of my life of praise Everything that I have now you gave to me, Baba Lord, I say for your love I'm grateful Jesus, you love me plenty, you can Now listen How many people in this place Believe and know that everything that you have today is because of God I don't know about you But I'm here today because of Jesus One more time, can you shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph tonight? Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. All the days of my life I praise you. Everything that I have now you get to me, Baba. Lord, I say for your love I'm grateful. Jesus, you love me plenty. Bring it down. Let me see your phones, everybody. Your phone, your phone, your phones, your phone. Who told you to put your phones down? Yes, yes. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Jehovah, Jehovah, Rapha, Jehovah, Jesus. Come on, come on. Let me see you with it up. Come on. Land of Judah.
solve, can solve. And as we worship, it is happening. There are things that only God can do. As we worship, yes, it is happening. Oh, so I will magnify your name, your steadfast love. Amazes me the things you do, yes, no man can do. Jehovah, your soul, amen. Let's have a moment.
that shines every voice on Naomi Sons. Yeah, I'm 
us tonight with the light of we have walked into the prophetic session we have walked into the session for your miracle tonight and declare
Shouts lifted up to God tonight. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, my Just raise your hands to him and sing it one more time. Oh, my One more time, oh boy, oh boy, oh my God, oh boy. Voice lifted up with your hands lifted up, sing.
words that you said. Just raise your hands. Just raise your voice. Father, we declare that every sense in and around this place is now subject to your presence. It's now subject to the power of your presence. Father, the atmosphere is surrendered to you. Somebody just raise your voice. You have never been here before. Raise your voice and adore the Holy Spirit of the living God. And adore the Holy Spirit of the living God. Tell him, Holy Spirit, I worship you. 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 Come on, raise your worship. Let the master hear you tonight. Raise your worship to the spirit of the living God. Raise your worship to the spirit of God. Yes, alabande la cosa andare baba se che le baba. Yes, andare kata la basso de recata ya ba. Oh, shale ba se che te le baba sande le kata.
Jesus died and 
say you are healed. If you're blind, say you can see. Oh, if you're deaf, say you can hear. It's what the Lord has done. Exceeding, I bind and leave much more.
louder than that tonight and tell him, for you are glorious, for you are glorious and worthy. Oh, you're the love upon. And I'm to you, God, we lift our voice. Sing it one more time. For you are glorious. For you are glorious. And worthy. Oh, you're the love upon the throne. And unto you we lift our voice. You're the love. And unto the Lamb upon the throne, we raise a song, we raise a song, for you my God and God alone, hallelujah, hallelujah.
Yeah. 
Just lift up your hands to the Lord. Raise your hand to the Lord. He's worthy, Lord. You are 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 worthy, Lord. What was impossible? You have done it again. What was impossible? You've made possible. Jesus here Jesus here You have done it again Jesus here In your special way What was impossible Jesus, you have done. Jesus, in your special way. Tell him, saints, tell him, tell him. Tell him. Lift up your hands and him and say, Jesus, you have done. Do it again. Do it again, Lord. Do it again. Do it again. What was possible? You may possible. Jesus, What was impossible, you made possible, Jesus here. What was impossible, you made possible, Jesus. This is your day for a miracle. This is for a day for a miracle. You look wonderful, all of you. Sit down, please. Sit down, please. The Lord is good. You look great. You look awesome. You look wonderful. We welcome all of you. Thank you for being here. In Jesus' mighty name. And we know the Lord is going to touch people. He'll bless. We'll hear testimony. And um, are we taking Holy Communion? Okay, we'll take all the communion and, and we're going to hear wonderful testimonies. God is doing something great, something wonderful, something supernatural in Jesus' name. We have his worship, Brian Kaboyo, the mayor of Hoima City. He's here with us. Come on, give him a better hand clap. He's coming from the oil. City, the oil city. We welcome you, your worship, for being with us today. Let's go ahead and give our tithe and offerings and our special seeds, our, I mean our, our, our offerings to the Lord. And uh, we open the day with thanksgiving. And um, then we will be on the 14th. We have the ambassador of Israel with us. Uh, he's going to be with us here. And um, you can come and be part of from 11. And um, we will be talking about many things. And um, I know it will be a blessing. It will be a blessing. 
in come at midday, be around that period of time, up to two. So it will be a blessing to pray for Israel and, um, and, and many, many other things. Amen. God is doing wonderful things, saints. Um, it has raining. Please plant some food if you can. Do whatever you can. Some countries have had droughts, like Zimbabwe, South Africa. They have suffered the heat. The heat, the heat uh, about a month ago destroyed a lot of crops. And um, so many countries are going to face face a lot of hunger but God has sent us rain it's been raining so we need to take advantage of that and um, so that we don't have I mean food is already high food prices are very high so we need to figure out of how to reduce food prices because they cause inflation and, um, and of course they they, you, you can't have enough in Jesus name let's go ahead and give them. Father in the name of Jesus thank you for the opportunity to give to you you are blessing us through giving Lord through you gave us a son and we are grateful for that and we bless his name thank you Lord we will never outgive you thank you for your loving kindness thank you for your mercy and your grace and your providing for us all the time in Jesus name Amen please go ahead and give those of you online the numbers on the screen you can give through mobile money uh, digital giving you can give uh, Momo Pay, Airtel Code, MTN Code. Plant your seed today. Let the Lord favor you, bless you, increase you, and add to you. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. In your special way, what was impossible, you made possible, Jesus. Jesus. We welcome all the pastors, all the preachers, the evangelists, the men and women of God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We salute you. We, we, we praise God for you. In Jesus' name. Later on, we shall take a seat for, Israel, for uh, Karamoja as well as Berlin. And, um, and um, so uh, we are setting ourselves to reach out to Europe because Europe is in trouble. Europe is in serious trouble. These are nations that preach to us the gospel over a hundred years ago. Euro, England, German, Holland, Belgium, uh, those nations that pioneer to preach the gospel they now need the gospel so badly so badly and though many Africans have been going there but they've been going as economic refugees or they've gone as academic students but because they lacked many things they could not create an impact they could not create an impact and um, probably that is 
one of the things that I'm, I'm discussing with many, many people entitled The Cross, Calvary, and The Carpenter. The Cross, Calvary, and The Carpenter. Jesus was the carpenter. But Calvary was the hill. Was known as Mountain Moriah in the Old Testament. Is where Abraham sacrificed his son. And, um, and this is where God sacrificed his son Jesus. It's now it has the temple mount. The Muslim build a mosque on it. So it, it cannot be used as it was before. But God sent his son. The Bible says he was rich. He became poor. So that we might become rich. Now what, what we we don't understand is the process of making a rich person poor. How does a rich person become poor? If you had a million shillings, how do you become poor? The process of, of, of being rich is through seeding. And the process of increasing your wealth is through seeding. So the process was very simple. Jesus had bring all his wealth, which is more than gold and silver. His holiness, righteousness, his character of God. And he invested in us. He invested in us that we might become rich. So he became one because he invested what he had in us. But it wasn't poor actually on our standard. Because though we think he was poor, because he left his glory, uh, he left his majesty. But the power in his poverty, let me just say with you, in his poverty, he did more than the rich on earth could ever do. Do you hear me? In his poverty, he did more. Because there was no man, whether Caesar, Pontius Pilate, or king uh, of, of Judah, who fed people. Jesus fed 5,000 men with men and children. Not once, not twice. He healed the sick. I mean, he, 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 Hospitals could not handle diseases that nobody could cure. He gave hope to the hopeless. He, he changed many people. The Bible says his team alone baptized more people than John baptized. In three and a half years, he did what the entire religious organizations since Abraham has never even attempted to do. He paid a Debt for all of us. Then, now, and forever. So, in his poverty, he did more. He did more than the wealthiest people on planet Earth. So, if he was rich and became poor, man, that kind of process, I need it. Because it's what gave him the glory back. He invested in us to become children of God and watch this child of God. Then God gave him a name that is above every name. Because of the investment he did, he is now seated at the right hand of the Father. He is coming back as a king, not as a poor man. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. I love the process. I love the process. That temporarily it looked as though you were losing, that you have lost everything. 
have your money, your seed, but when we go to the glory, glory land, when we finally make it up there, so God, watch this. You will be living on the street. Jesus will be living. Because your investment cannot, you can't contain them here. And so Jesus Christ said, you receive a hundredfold in this life and a hundredfold in the life to come. Oh, somebody clap your hands and smile. So, it's worth the investment. It's worth the investment. And sometimes we don't realize that when we become missionaries, when we start you know, investing, two things are going to break. Because the cross is, came to destroy the powers of poverty. Mainly the cross of Jesus, its work, its work is to the curse. The, the, the cross, the work of the cross to break the curse. Galatians chapter 3 Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the Lord. Having become a curse for for it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on it. So whenever we look at the cross, curse broken. Oh, come on. Did somebody tell you you have a curse? Lift the cross. Say the cross. The Bible said the message of the cross to those who are perishing is foolishness. But whilst we are being saved, it is the power of God. Come on, say the power of God. Child of God, tonight, the cross is going to break every powerful, every curse in your life. And once the curse is broken, poverty is over. Demons are over. Misfortune is over. You have been having generational curses. Look at the cross. Look at the cross of Jesus. I say, look at the cross. That's why the, the psalmist said, I will cherish the old rugged cross. I will cherish the old rugged cross. Why? Because the power to break every curse is in the cross. Tell the person next to you, because of the cross, there's no curse on my life. The Bible said Bible he took the document which was against us because a curse what, what do they call a curse in, 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 in our language in the western you know? what do you call it? Eh? Huh? <laughs> okay so he said it's the document that was against us. He blotted it out. And amazingly, I want you to see the scripture. He said he blotted out the handwriting. The handwriting. Which means there is a hand that is cursing. When someone is dead, his hand can't write. So which means these curses are promulgated by people we come across. Relatives, enemies, they keep on cursing you. That's why when Jesus was, this woman was brought to her in, in naked and in, in shame in act of adultery he wrote down. What was he writing down? He was writing on top of what was written in her life. There was a curse on this woman. A curse 
will cause you to do things that will be ashamed of. And what he did, he wrote on top of it. Yes, yakola yawandi kakunguru kwacho. No more curses. Eto chia liko chikoli mo. No more curses. Eto chia liko bikoli mo. So he blotted it away. Na chisangura wo. The handwritten ordinance. E chiwandi ke chiwandi kwa nuko. That was against us. E chia liko chikoli mo. Which was contrary to us. E chia liko chikoli mo. Anything that is contrary to your progress. E chia liko chikoli mo. Contrary to your success. E chia liko chikoli mo. Contrary to your anointing. E chia liko chikoli mo. Contrary to your anointing. Tonight is gonna be blotted out. E chia liko chikoli mo. Contrary to your success. E chia liko chikoli mo. Contrary to your anointing. Some of you want to keep your curses. And you want to move around with them. You're rearing them like rabbits. Everywhere you go, you got your curses. You got your curses. Today, it's going to be blotted and exploded. Yes. Contrary to us, and he took it out of the way. You are not going to find this curse following you anytime. You will not meet it anywhere anytime. He has taken it out of the way, Pastor Sofa. He has taken it out of the way. Yes. It is out of the way. The curse of your aunt, your mom, your aunt, of the clan, of the nation, people's classes have been taken out. And he didn't only take it away. He nailed it to his cross. He nailed it to the cross. So every time you see your cross. You see that's where your curse is. It's no longer where you are. Jesus nailed it to the cross. So the cross is a curse buster. Is a curse blotter. Lift your hand. I will cherish the old ragged cross. Till my trophies at last are laid down, I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for. The crown is given to the victors. I will cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last are laid down. I will cling to the old. Change it someday for a crown. My God, the cross, the cross, the cross. <laughs> I will cherish the old rugged cross and exchange it someday. Oh, suffering 
sing an old, an old hymn very very old hymn it, I think it started in English then they translated it in Luganda they said is one of our weapons. It's one of our weapons. It's where the last drops of the Son of God came out. It's where the deepest conversation between the Son and God came out. It's where he cared for us most. On the weeping post, he healed us. At the cross, he forgave us. It's where he finished everything. But the hill Calvary, you may be seated, saints. Calvary, the place, the place of wonders, the place that contains multiple bloods, carries multiple crosses. The cross, I mean the Calvary, a place of where heaven and earth and hell met it's a place of forces it's a place of earthquakes it's a place that determines the destiny of human beings child of God that can happen to you have you ever realized 
Have you ever realized that God can make Uganda a place where destinies can meet? A place where heaven, earth, and the hell can meet. And then you begin to see who wins best. Everybody goes to China for things. They go to Dubai for hospitalities and stuff. People go to countries. You, even when you get sick, they say, go to India. Why? Because something is powerfully there. Calvary is that place where heaven, hell, and earth met. I believe the Lord is about to create your place, a place of force, of power, of where decisions are made. Oh, come on, somebody, clap your hands to Jesus. Because the devil was at Calvary. God was at Calvary. The people were at Calvary. That day, permanent decisions were made. That day, destinies were achieved. That day, we became forgiven. The devil lost. Heaven rejoice. You are going to create the same atmosphere. You are going to be the atmosphere where Satan will lose. Heaven will be overpopulated. And heaven will rejoice. And the earth will be free. May God make you a place of wonders, a place where people are free, a place where people rejoice, where freedoms are, where joy is attained, a place. You're not just a person. You are going to become a place. May God give you an address. Calvary is our address. When you talk about our freedom, our liberty, our salvation, Calvary is our place. If you want to share the devil, tell the devil that you lost, remind him of what happened at Calvary. Come on, somebody. You need to remind the devil that it was at Calvary you lost everything. It's where you ran off into hell after the Son of God had defeated you. Somebody need to remind the devil every battle has a battlefield. Our battle against Satan was at Calvary. Somebody tell the devil Calvary is victory for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, rejoice. You are free. Jesus said it's finished. At Calvary. At Calvary. You have an address. I say you have an address. Even murderers had an address there. Even killers. And at that place, they attained paradise. Son of God at Calvary, you get what you want. Huh? Hey. Huh? Hey. You get what you want. Oh. You can't come out empty-handed. Oh. A centurion oh. took the garment of Jesus. Oh. They divided his garment. Oh. One took the shoes. Oh. One took the pants. Oh. You can't go to Calvary oh. and you come out empty. Oh. Even his spear oh came out with the blood of the Son of God. Child of God, you can't go to Calvary and you come out broke. Calvary is a place where you go and get something that will change your life. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. May God give you a ground of victory. A place where you succeed. Well, you are standing on that very ground today. You will not live here the same in Jesus' name. Raise your hand and say, I won't live here. In Jesus' name. Bound, possessed, tormented. 
For the Holy Ghost of Acts is still the same I won't leave here as I came in Jesus name Lift your hand and say it again I won't leave here as I came in Jesus name Bound to tormented sea calling for the Holy Ghost of Acts is still the same. I won't leave here as I came in Jesus' name. Clap your hands and rejoice and say, I won't leave here as I came in Jesus' name. Bound, tormented, sick, or lame. For the Holy Ghost of us is still the same. I won't leave here as I came in Jesus' name. Gosa golo gosa iviange ya vieti kan. Golo gosa golo gosa. Golo gosa golo gosa. Testify, testify. Golo gosa golo gosa. Child of God, Mwana wakatonda. Calvary, Calvario, Calvary, Calvario, Calvary, Calvario, Calvary, Calvario. Calvary, Calvario is our address. Church forty of the Wood Sanga. Is where we became forgiven. We twas on you. Calvary is a place for me. Calvary is a place for you. Calvary is enough for me. Calvary Come on, lift up your hands and say, Calvary is enough for me. The God of Calvary is enough for me. He's enough for me. He's enough for me. Lift your hands. The God of Calvary is enough for me. He's enough. He's enough. The God of Lift your hands one more time. He's enough. He's enough. The God of Calvary. He's enough. Oh. On a hill far away. Stood an old cross. People of God, that is your address. If anybody said, Where are you from? <laughs> Who are you? I'm from Calvary. Sit down, please. 
Then the carpenter. Omubazi. The carpenter. Omubazi. The cross. Omusaraba. Calvary. Calvario. And the carpenter. No mubazi. I don't know. Simanyi. Jesus, when he was young, yes, we are when he was a baby, he was born among animals. Then he was rushed to Africa. Spent there six years. Brought back to Nazareth. Spent all his time with the carpenters. One thing about carpenters, Whatever they create, even if it's a mistake, it becomes a new design. Amen. I mean, the people who watch them do stuff they think it's they think it's just wastage. But a carpenter can even use the stamp of the tree the branches the leftover piece of wood and create the beautiful furniture you are going to be the new design you will look different from everybody else many people think you a mistake <laughs> but you are his new design it is amazing that out of one tree you can make chairs tables forks, spoons he makes everything that makes beds that makes life better walking sticks He creates systems that makes life better. He turns you into something that he gives you life to live beyond your normal life. You know, he doesn't deal with living trees. He waits until you cut them down. When everything has been cut down and people think it has no value, the carpenter said, Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, I can make a sculpture out of it. I can make a door that will open the room of the president. This can be a table on which a billionaire will sign checks. Child of God, he gets wood out of the field in the jungles where they've been cut and left in the cold. And he designs something beautiful out of it. And then people spend millions to attain that furniture to take it into their home. Some make frames of pictures some make tables and chairs but child of God the maker know you you are not going to be left in the cold some of you are the door that has to be opened to save the whole family you didn't hear what I just said some of you you are the door you are the door I say you are the door You're not just a person. You are the door. Some of you, you are the reason why people are going to meet and have peace. Some of you, 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 you are so important. You're going to find yourself in a church. I don't know where this word came from. I don't know. It was grown in a certain village. 
Snakes went on it. But the carpenter said, This is so beautiful. He put it on stainless steel stand. And now he's holding the Bible, holding the anointing. And love scriptures are being shared. It may have grown in Malaysia, but now it's in Kampala. It's at Lubaga Miracle Center. And the world is watching it. Every camera is watching it. People of God, you are going to be seen in areas where you never grow even. The carpenter, the carpenter, the carpenter, allow him to deal with you. Allow him to touch you. Allow him to minister to you. And this brings me to a story of Peter and his mother-in-law. The scripture said that she was sick of a fever and Peter, Jesus was preaching in the synagogue not very far from where they were and so Peter for the first time he had been sending medicine at home he has been sending whatever money the family needed and uh, the lady was not getting healed she had a fever, lost appetite she didn't have any hope and the Bible said said in Matthew 8 verse 14 and said that when Jesus was coming to Peter's house he saw his wife's mother lay and sick of a fever go ahead please and he touched her hand. He touched her hand. And the fever left her. He touched her hand. And the fever left her. And she arose. And ministered unto them. The carpenter. Tonight. Is going to touch your hand. And the fever will leave you. The Bible is amazing. Everybody stretch your hand. Now touch your hand. Say that he has touched me. Come on, say it again. Say he's touching me and the fever will leave me. The fever will leave you. That fever has been putting you down. You could not minister. You could not minister the way you need to minister. And let me tell you the fever. This fever is a fever of poverty. Is a fever that stops you from working. For God blesses the work of your hand. This is where the fever is. As long as the fever was on this woman. She was not standing up. She was not ministering. She was supposed to be ministering. Many of you need to minister to the Lord. Minister to the generation. Your family. Your home. Your community. But you can't because there is a fever. He didn't touch the head. He didn't touch the feet. Why did he touch the hand? Because this kind of fever stops the blessing to come to you because God blesses the work of your hand. Tonight, this morning, the Lord is going to touch your hand. And the fever will go. Say, so he has touched me. The fever is gone. I arise to minister. Before you are trying to help people, they are going to see you with 20 trailers. This time you're going to rise up. The entire village will realize that you rose up. I command the fever you had to leave you. I command that fever you had to leave you. Lift your hand and say, fever. Leave me alone. I arise to minister. You who are standing, may the Lord start with you. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Raise your right hand and say, Father, touch my hand. Let the fever leave me. And I will rise to minister. 
Many people think ministering but is only preaching like I'm doing. But this woman rose up and started ministering. What kind of ministry was she doing? She went in the kitchen. Jesus had disciples. There were many. She had grandchildren. So she started preparing meals. She said the service is over. Sit around. Let me cook for you. She started making dough and bread and fried chickens that she and minister to them giving them water lemonade and she does ministering people of God you're going to show people that God visited your house your home I know, I know, I know we are born again. And everybody knows we are born Everybody knows we are born But this time round, you won't speak for yourself. What you do will speak for you. I command that fever you have to leave you. It's every fever that's been hiding to lose your hands. It is amazing that this fever. I remember when I was young. My mama's, my mama's thermometer. To test whether you have fever. Was when she put her forehead on your forehead. She could get you and say come here. You look like you have a fever. And then she put her head. On your forehead. She said yeah you have a fever. Or you don't have a fever. Or you are just tired. Or take a drink. Or go sleep. I will prepare some food for you. Or she could put her finger. Her hands. Upside like this. And put it on you. She said hey you are developing a fever. Bring this bitter So whenever she, she could say. Whenever she started touching you. She will order for bitter herbs. There was even eh? and that, that a concoction of bitter herbs. Lots of bitter herbs. First of all, I saw to my girl teach Kajo. She would send you to go pick a jar. Uh, you bring it. She would cut it in pieces. And she would put it aside. As she's mixing the bitter herbs. As you're bringing the sugar cane, she's mixing the bitter herbs. She would say, Open your mouth. a whole cup, mug. And none of us go, were overdosed. None. No overdose. A whole mug. They would hold your mouth and the nose. And they would pour that concoction in your mouth. You, you could not cry of any fever anymore. After two, three, five you minutes, that you can turn away then she gives you sugar cane. One piece. Just your mouth to cool down. And say, okay, go and sleep. When you wake up, you'll feel better. And the fever is gone. Child of God, this year, the fever of poverty is leaving you. The fever that destroys your things is dying. The fever is gone. I arise to minister. <laughs> Child of God, when Jesus comes, you're supposed to minister. You're supposed to be at your best. You're supposed to be on your feet. But he comes, you are lying down because of the fever. And there is a fever. This fever comes by infection. So the person next to you, he said, don't infect me with your poverty. Tell them, 
that seems to have a fever. If you get the malarial poverty, the way you're looking, the way you're praising, the way you're yearning, you look like you have a fever of malaria. In the name of Jesus. I Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Yes, we are coming May Jesus touch your hand. Malaria again. May the malaria of poverty leave. In this month of April, the Lord is driving out poverty out of your house. Many of you are going to stand up and start ministering to the whole family. To the whole family. Do you know that everybody in your family who is lacking, you as a child of God, you can take care of their problems. You can. May God make you a billionaire. You will. 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 You Lift your hands and touch me, Lord. And I will never be the same again. Touch me, Jesus. I will never be the same again. I will never be the same again. I will never return. I've closed the door.
touched me And Lord, the joy that flood my soul Something happened my soul my Savior God to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul my Savior God to thee how great thou is here. The Holy One of Israel is here. The carpenter is here to turn your life into something incredible. To turn our lives into something incredible. Something that will be, will be, be held. Something will be found in precious rich places. Something that will be found in a holy places. Your life God is ready to design it into something incredible, into something powerful. You are here to be redesigned, to be recreated, to be refilled, to be transformed into His image. He is an amazing God. Oh 
to Jesus. Raise your hands to the Lord. Touch me. Redesign me. Redesign my life. Redesign my life. Reorganize my life. Repurpose my life. I'm ready, Lord. I'm ready, Lord. I'm ready, Lord. Redesign me. Deliver me. Let the fever leave me. Let it go. Let it leave me. Lord, make me what you want me to be. In your name. In Jesus' name. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. You may be seated. We serve a mighty God. Let me finish with this. John, Yokana, the man of revelation, in chapter 4, he began by God telling him to write letters to the churches. He said, write to this church. Write to this church. Write to this church. To this church. Seven churches. Seven unique anointings. Seven different messages. Child of God. And it was all one church. Because it was just location, but it was one church. That's why I said, write to the church. In Simna, write to the church. In Theatira. Write the, so, it's one church. She 
which is means different seven anointings seven spirits of god seven different messages in chapter 4 he says something powerful please go to chapter 4 he said after this i looked and behold a door was open in heaven and the first voice which i heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me which says come up here and i'll show thee things which must be hereafter I said now I saw the heaven open the door in heaven open and he said the voice that spoke to me was like a trumpet and it said audible words so I, uh, I'm going to ask him to play a trumpet and cause it to speak so that you may understand that God in this season, the month of April, is going to talk to you in a very strange voice. Everybody around you will not understand it, but you will understand it. The trumpet, come on, go ahead. How do you know? How, how do you know what you are saying? So the voices of heaven they don't talk like we talk. When you reach a certain level in your faith and relationship with God the voice you're going to hear it will not be your normal voice. That's my point. That as you get deeper in the things of God, everybody is expecting you to hear what everybody else hears. You are about to hear a voice talking to you, and it shall sound like that. Others. Others will think you are, you, you, you are making noise. Or oh, they will say, what is that? But for you, it will said, Come up here. Come up here. Child of God, God wants you to come up. Don't come down. Come up. Somebody's about to rise. I said, somebody's about to rise. He said, come up here, I'll show you. Others around you will not understand what God is saying. Because your action is going to be contrary to the normalcy. They are going to be doing other things. You will be going up. They are going to be mingling and, and, and messing up themselves. You will be going up. They will be concerned about this and this and that. You will be going up. He said, come, I'm going to show you what is going to happen after here. Here after. Something is going to happen. But the good news is, heaven has already opened a door for you. Raise your hands and say, my door, my heaven has opened my door. And I'm coming up. 
And I'm going to show things eyes have never seen, ears have never heard. Child of God, the things that are normal is not going to be normal for us. We are about to see things that are not normal. Your eyes are going to see. In one month you buy land. In three months you'll be building. In six months you'll be entering. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Verse 2. Verse 2, please. Genesis 4 2. Verse 2. And immediately I was in the spirit. Shout of God. Even if you are too religious. Where we have reached, when you hear the trumpet, when you see the heaven get open, you will enter the spirit without knowing. John is here said, immediately, I was in the spirit. Immediately. I was in the spirit. Child of God. People are going to hear the voice of God. And heaven open. And they see what God is going to do for them. You will see them in the spirit. In the midst of the taxi park. In the midst of the office. You are going to see people. That you have been conversing with. You have been eating. And they will start tangalizing. And start tangalizing. The Lord is about to show you things. He's speaking to you strangely. Supernaturally, he will open your eyes. Supernaturally, you're going to see a miracle coming and you start. You will enter into the spirit. You will start speaking in other tongues. And people around you may take you to Butabika. But for you, you will behold a throne set in heaven and one sat on the throne. Verse 3. He has no poverty whatsoever. And he that sat was looking like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow around about the throne in sight like unto an emerald. Those precious stones. You're going to see riches from the throne. If you got it, take it in Jesus' name. Verse 4. And around about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white remnant. And they had an, on their head crowns of gold. From today, you are going to see the riches of our God. Tell your neighbor I'm coming close to it. Before you be far, this time, you come close to the power of our God's riches. Verse 5. And out of the throne proceeded lightning and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which were the seven spirits of God. You're going to see what is unprecedented. Verse 6. And before the throne, there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. And in the midst of the throne, and around about the throne, were we four beasts full of eyes before and behind. Verse 7. And the first beast was like a lion. And the second beast like a calf. And the third beast like a face of a man. And the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. So in other words, four anointings are going to hit you. Number one, you're going to be fierce like a lion. Number two, you're going to be more productive like a calf. And third, you are going to look like a normal man. But actually, you fly like an eagle. Verse 8. 
You didn't hear what I said. You're going to fight like a lion. But you're going to be pro as productive as a cow. There's no animal on earth very productive that is as productive ngente. as a cow. It gives you milk. You get butter out of milk. No you can make ghee no out of milk. Yogurt. You can get yogurt. Hello? Hello? It gives you a skin no you can make a shoes. It gives you meat. A cow gives you manure. You're going to be very productive. Things that are going to come out of you. are going to gather all the riches from all over. But you're going to be like a man. Like all other men. But when you set off, you'll be flying like an eagle. You are standing. So you are going to see things you have never seen before in your life. Lift your hand. Say, Heavenly Father, touch me. The fever is gone. I arise to minister. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. My heaven is open. And I hear the voice. Though my neighbor doesn't hear it. But I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. Somebody clap your hands. Jesus. You may be seated. That's why the Lord is going to cause you to dominate the jungle. You're going to be the greatest in your family. You are the king of the jungle. You are the lion. That's why the Lord speaks like trumpets and he says time for Africa to break the curse of poverty of Africa. is going to take Africa, Africa's money to evangelize the world. Ugandan money is Uganda going to be used to evangelize Europe. That's how you break the yoke. That's how, child of God, you have to understand that there was war in heaven. And that war was never broken. That spirit of rebellion that Satan set in heaven had never been broken. Jesus had to come here to break it where he was. There's something that Europe put on Africa. The spirit of lag. Even when we are like we have money, it's like we don't have money. Even when we think we have something, it's like we don't have it. Our money is in Africa. Is only valuable when it's translated into other monies in Europe. In America. You may be a billionaire in Uganda. But when the money is translated, exchanged, you are no longer a billionaire. You may be a millionaire. You may have 10 million. Even 100 million. But change that money into Uganda, into dollars. How much is that? 25, 30,000 dollars. You thought you were you a million, a million. Until our money 
is used by God to break the yoke in another country our currencies will never have value that's what the Lord spoke to me he spoke like a trumpet he said this is he said you watch as you do the crusade in Berlin Germany and you sponsor it you will see what will happen to the Uganda you will see what will happen to the economy of the country, the economy of the nation, the economy of the land, the economy of the church. When God gave his son, I'm telling you, that's when God began to own the earth. The earth, ever since creation, was never for God. Because Adam handed it over to the devil. I want you to follow me quickly. Because this is truth. Adam gave the land to the devil. And the devil told Jesus, if you want it, bow down and wash. Jesus refused. He said, I'll pay my, my price. When God gave his son, and he died on the cross, and he rose from the dead, that's when God began to own the earth. Because churches begin to be built. This land, this real estate piece, this one belongs to God. This is the house of God. Before, only the Jews could offer real estate to God and build synagogues. Others were building shrines all over but when Jesus died and God paid the price and the currency of heaven came and invested in, 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 on the earth, now we are buying land, we are building churches for him. Child of God, you're going to see your life. You're going to see your family's life. You're going to see your, your, everything you do. It's going to take a leap like you have never seen before. As we take our money and we go and evangelize those nations and we go and we sow in those countries, you will see what will happen to our economy. You will see what will happen to your economy. You are a city set on a hill which cannot be hid. Child of God, get ready. This is the year you are becoming a billionaire. And God is going to use you as an address to literally change everyone. So lift up your hand and say, Father, touch my hand. Let the fever go so that I may rise and minister in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Amen Glory to God. So there are those who are pledging to help us take the gospel to Berlin, Germany. And you know, I didn't know about this, but it has become full knowledge that the Congress, the Congress sat in the city of Berlin of all the superpower in the world to divide the earth. To choose which area they will take so that they don't fight. It's called the Berlin Conference. So the British said, We'll take this. The Germans will take this. The Spain Spaniards, this. The Portuguese, this. The French, this. They divided the earth, the land to themselves in Berlin. The cross breaks everything that was written against us. So child of God is going to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars for this crusade July 29 to August 4th the first crusade sponsored by Africans in the history of that city ever ever and you will see the outcome you will see the results you will see what will happen to you and your family 
Because the Bible said, the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. So your hundred dollars is going to make a difference. Your thousand dollars is going to make a difference. Your ten thousand dollars is going to make a difference. Your euro, wherever you are, which country you are in, you can sow the seeds. So let's go ahead and give. Those of you who got your seed which you brought, you can line up here. And we are giving for Karamoja. Karamoja is amazing because the, the acreage we have already planted, the seeds have come up already. It looks so beautiful. And we are planting. We are planting. All that green you see is food. It has already come up already. So we are going to plant more. In Jesus name. So those of you have got your seed for Germany. You will line up here. In Jesus name. And uh, we are going to give to the Lord. But I encourage everyone. Everyone. Uh, you can give in Euro. You can give in Uganda. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, 100 euros is about 30. How much? 40,000? 400,000. And the Lord will prosper you. He will bless you. He will increase you. He will add you. Those of you brought seeds for Karamoja, you can also bring it. I have a family here that has brought a seed 1.2 million. From, from uh, Ilim Church, um, you, you can you can come up here and bring your seed. We bring glory to God. Each one of us, wherever you are, we are going to dance. We are going to praise God. We are going to come that way and you, you bring your seed. Hold your seed, everyone. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand here today believing you for miracles. Signs and wonders. We see the heaven open for us to preach the gospel, to touch nations, to minister to the people, to know that you are our God. We will bless you forevermore because you are incredible. You are awesome. You are powerful. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen. You can go ahead and give. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise, Jesus. You can put one there and you can put another one here. Amen. Put the bottle there. Put the ball, another one there. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. May the Lord bless you and increase you. He's a good God. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Hey, you are back. Okay. How are you? How is everything?
gentleman who is going come back there are people here you don't know where to start you know you ought to do something but you don't know where to start Stand up. Lift your hand. Stand over here. Please. Hold your hands together up. When I say in the name of Jesus, you separate your hands.
Jesus, oh Jesus, my Lord, come and feed your lambs, Jesus, oh Jesus, come and feed your lambs. Yes, Ricasera pro do radia badoshe Retere ma zimbo kotanda ramani Radere re re bo jebre dara shadaka Uji pre de re se tere dara Radere ma dro pre da jebre Uji pre de re se brada shadaka Randa ma do re pre de ge jebre Radiro Reposi bagasa, riprese terra glorose, rimbre de se bagasi prose data, gi se pradosa da 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 baudeide, reda reda rada reda rada, rando na se bagosa da ya. In Jesus name, o nome de Jesus. You will see the wonders of God. You will see the breakthrough of God. You will see the direction of the Holy Spirit. You will grow and you will be successful. You will achieve. You will increase. You will gain. You will not be hindered. In Jesus name. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Lord God. Amen. Amina. The testimony is here. Let the Lord do something wonderful. We give you praise. If you testimony to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We serve the mighty God. Thank you, Lord. Mokama Weberi. Praise God. Katunda Eva Zibwe. Grateful to God. Beba Zakatunda. For all that in our life. Kurebi Yonabi Akosembura Mowwe. I for one, I thank God, yeah, our family, a witness we have never had any marriage, uh, or whole marriage in our family, and uh, God has uh, done it for me, uh, through this anointing from the center, uh, it's, uh, been, it has been a, a great opportunity for us in, uh, in, in this general life that after that marriage we uh, uh, managed to get uh, assets and uh, we got uh, land and then also we got uh, transport we have been toiling moving uh, church, but God has uh, provided us with uh, means of transport and, uh, uh, God is so faithful to us that he, we managed to uh, celebrate our babies, our birthday, the twins, and I will say thank you for all the anointing in this house. And thank you that uh, we have been giving in Karamoja. That, that's all how we survived to, to reach to this uh, success. Come on, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Allow me the, uh, my precession and I'll sit to your table, sir. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
Amen. May the Lord do the same thing to you. Thank you, Jesus. And continue to prosper you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. She's Leticia. She's here to testify unto the Lord. Brethren, God has done great things for her. She was abandoned in a former marriage. She came here and prayed. When she accepted Jesus as her Lord, God gave her a man. The man wedded her with three children. She's here to encourage you, brethren. Ladies that have failed. Ladies with children thinking things have failed. Stand in this place, pray and fast. God will bring you husbands. God gave her this husband. He married her in holy matrimony. Holy matrimony. He went to the family and paid the dowry. She's here to give thanks to God for that. Stand strong in the Lord. The Lord of this place does not confuse. Ladies with children, God will bring you husbands. He will bring you fathers who will adopt your children. This husband has loved her with her three children. She's requesting that you pray for him to get a job. That is all. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. He's grateful to God for this time. He's, he, he's here to give two testimonies unto the Lord. For six years, he was praying for this partner, but they had failed to come to terms. God had, had showed him the girl for six years. He would come here and pray the living God to talk to her. One time, it was a Tuesday they were here. Pastor spoke a prophetic word. Pastor said, prayed for something for six years. But the Lord is saying it is done. We raise faith and say to the prophet He wondered this number in prayer for six years He said that must be my word Two weeks later He received a phone call The Lord had touched and spoken to his partner He said that must be my word The Lord had touched and spoken to his partner the Lord had given it on the 20th of July. When God came the lady had blocked his phone. They were to be touched. After they told him that he had checked it. He knew he has to operate in the depths that God gave him. The anointing in this place. He organized the introduction in two months without any coin. He wondered where to get the money from. Most of the family members were not going to They told him, go to your church, let them give it up. He said, the God I trust is greater than everybody. 
Okwanjula ne tukukola buli omune ye uliye baloza ati na ina sente ze kwese So nga sai na sente nemu ne tutukanga era mukama yangambwa ti omwe embaga ina kuba on December The wedding had to happen in December Nadandi ko kutegeke embaga Naye nga sina sente ne ngamba mukama bade mpayo kukalabojja Neno yesawa mukama wagamba nawe tukuleji jo nawe no kole ya If we do your work you will do our work Come to me sikwa banga na wanga yo kalabojja ku kalabojja na mpayo jo na chenina the Lord made the path without any money. Two weeks to the wedding, everything was stuck. He's grateful to God for Pastor Kayanja for his wife. And he prophesied and was, believe the prophetic. Pastor, we thank you. They've come with their thanksgiving offering. And their seed for Berlin. Their request is for prayers. They seek wasted years. May the Lord restore and give them twins. My God, my God. Katonda and Katonda and Ge. A motor car yeja. Your car is coming. A nyumba yeja. Your house is coming. Abalongo boba ja. Your twins are coming. Kubira katonda zama my God. Give God the powerful hand clap. Congratulations. To the Lord God in the name of Jesus prosper this your servant. Grant them everything they need. Lord. We give you praise. 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 The fever is gone. There rise to minister. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. In Jesus' name. I give you praise, Jesus. Praise God. I'm here to confirm Muzei's word. Muzei has always been saying that we shall be the head and not the tail. I'm here to glorify God. Last year I was appointed as the assistant general manager. I'm now in charge of 86 people. I want to thank God for that. I want to sow this seed of one million towards Berlin Conference. Thank you. Amen. Amen. My God. Father Lord God. Bless him. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. She is here to bless the God of Miracle Center. Because of the son Emmanuel. People are asking, where is the boy? They thought he had passed away. She's grateful to Because of the anointing in this place. She has gone to places she has never encountered the anointing such as it is in this place. She's here to give thanks to God. People were hurting for him because of her. Bless her with money to sow into Karamoja for his healing. May God bless you all. For two years, this woman. He was attacked by a disease when he was coming from school. He fell down. And then he became crippled. Something would attack and hit him. They went to Kasana Hospital. And Kalunji. But they failed to diagnose the disease. Until they came to this place. This is where the boy was delivered. 
Pastor Robert Jr. was the first to pray for him. And here he is walking. She's going to talk to for Pastors Robert and Jessica Kayanja for all the things they've done for him. They dressed him so smartly as you can see him. They gave him foodstuffs. May the Lord bless you so much. This is Emmanuel's mother. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. She's grateful to God for the God at the miracle center. She's grateful to God for Pastor Robert Kayanja. She's grateful to God for Pastor Kayanja. Musumba Junior Kayanja, Musumba Jessica Kayanja, Jessica Kayanja. Already such a work, Olom Yom Kama Yabaka Kama Futa, and I was the anointing of Okunga Mumana and Nate Ramazmana was a bang of Pamf, Ganzo Mundoza, Valibas from one hour. She would take the boy to the shrine. They will ask for a goat. If there was no life, the boy was just there. In the few days the boy has come here, the boy is like this. She is grateful to God. May the Lord have mercy on her. May the Lord forgive her for all the covenants she put upon her son. May the Lord deliver the son and have mercy upon her as well. My God, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. I'm not very much on Monday. Emmanuel. Kale, Jangu eno. Jangu. Jangu eno. This boy could not talk, could not walk. How are you? How are you? Yes. Go on your mie. On your mie. You're very smart. Yes. That's it. Ani akuguli de suti. I need a quad de suit, but what the suit in England? Mm. 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 My God, my God. My God, my God. My God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank Oh, no, your mama, Emma. I told you. Oh, Mama, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Oliye mama o muto. Lamu. Tutambule mu. Kale tutambule mu. Samba 
and they clap your hands to Jesus. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. My God. When I am awesome, wonder, consider all the works thy hand has made. I see the star, I hear the roaring thunder, thy power throughout the universe declare. Sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. How great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. He doesn't want to sit down. He wants to keep on walking. My God, my God. Today, the one mommy. Gamba yes. Amina. Yesu. Yesu. <laughs> my God, my God. How great thou art. Call it together, one man. How great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great. How great. Auntie Katol, you don't put an in Marocoli and Miri Munjapula Vedakal. See you later, bro. <laughs> How great thou art How great thou art How great thou art Bye Clap your hands to Jesus. It was on Easter Monday. Easter Monday. The Lord healed that young man. And child of God, the Lord is a good God. That guy was paralyzed. He couldn't talk. He couldn't walk. Serve a mighty God. And you could hear the mother. Where is the mother? There is the mother come. Mama Emma Jango Kuruano. How great thou art. Put your hands up. Wanike Mikono. Come close. Same beda. How old are you? Only name Yake Mika. She had to go to the shrines to find solace. She said, take the kids to the grave. 
grave of who nobody knows. Now she said, I need Jesus. You want to get saved? Yes. There are people here watching at home, hospitals, or even in the church here. You've not given your life to Jesus. You're not living for God. You need Jesus in your life. Put up your hand. You need Jesus in your life. If you're here, you want to give your life to the Lord. Those of you putting up your hands, stand up, please. And come here. Give them a hand clap. Give them a hand clap. ask you when they told you that your child was walking now how did how did you come to know that lady who brought your baby that's the mother in law Toyogera mwana jali wabule shindu chimu kama yoso mwa Emma Mulamu Era mange simu za jangu kwira ngamba Emma yatered ali what Emma The mother could not believe it. she's grateful to the God of this place and she's believing God to get saved She could not expect what somebody clap your hands to Jesus God is good He does wonders a young man stands today as a testimony of God's goodness. Now, touch or feel the heart. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what the situation is. It may be worse. It may be bad. But our God is good. Jesus is real. He is real. He is real. He is real. He is real. Pray this prayer with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Save me. Redeem me. Deliver me. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you. Set me free. Deliver me from the powers of darkness. Holy Spirit, I'm tired. I need you. 
Wash me with your precious blood. Dear Lord Jesus, cleanse me, purify me. I give you my heart. And you devil, leave me alone. Say Jesus seven times Ita. and every spirit is going to leave you. Ita Jesus. Yes. 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 Touch. Bakwateko. Every demon, every demon, every demon, every demon, every pass of darkness, every demon, every misambo, every misambo, every witchcraft, every powers of witchcraft, every manduas. What have you again? Pack your bags and leave. Every poverty. Every evil habit be broken in Jesus' name. Spirit of religion, loose the people. In Jesus' name, Lord, heal your people and set them free today. Cleanse them this hour. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Be delivered. Yes, Jesus sets you free. And what May all your diseases live here. May whatever hell you lose in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. There is that lady over there. Go with her. In Jesus name. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. She's Maureen. I come from Iganga. Ava Iganga. Yeah, testimony. Jenina. Her testimony. In 2017, uh, I passed through a depression after losing my dad. Depression The situation was totally bad. Mami na ngamba na yemole ngatu wede tu genda tani kila watu kwa baba na baadhi sema sume roga mani kuna tu genda baadhi zamu cha watu kuna cha kola. Children are in big schools they can't take the money. All of them were discouraged. Nemo gamba na yemami. She told the mom. There is hope. Walu we suru. Walu chance eriwo. There's a chance. Nemo gamba the chance cheyo. She asked which chance is that. Nemo ita mudiro. Nemo gamba mudiro kuchano 44. She called them in a living room. Mama na chano 44. She has never she had never come here they were watching on chano 44. First a kolo weyali abuli la. That day while pastor was preaching. The target of it was on Minga Linga and Ninga Gambian Namu. The court and passive, she had told Pagamba Wala Gue. She's passing the You're going to get a job after two days. Name Nagamba Musigans to go can solo cigar, the Kamuabaka, the Swiss of a million twenty thousand. She told the mother, We are going to get a job. I mean, I'm an end to innocent. The mother said, You don't have money. What are you? I have some ten thousand of my bell money. Nakomo to Aruku Sigan Sigan. She decided to sow it. Abogand and Sigan Sigan. She sent that seed that night. And they went to bed. In the morning, so as I sat, Kumacha around nine. Someone called. Nagamba. And said, "Say, Molly. Walu amuli mo kwe ni na kwe nsovo lo connecting." I can connect you to a job. Nengamba, it is okay. She said, "Can I get any manager where your company? Yali, but get a good company. Yali, Olympia." Stock. 
to spoke to the manager. <laughs> Once they call her, she realized Jesus She only sent 9,000 women charges. They ask her, Molly, where do you want to work? After the interviews. They come let them decide. They picked out the outlets. If she said, I want to she's not familiar. Took her to a company with company She had never been there. <laughs> she started working. From day one. It's seven years down the road. Outlets. Somebody clap for God. It's one of the best outlets. She she the same thing. I have to work, I have to get the house. 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 She went to Miracle Center. For some three days. She went to Just behind them and I'm behind them. She said, when you I get an opportunity, opportunity I must give testimony. I interview a miracle. <laughs> because of Channel 44. I channel 44. If you just watch on Channel 44, I receive such a miracle. How about those who attend in person? <laughs> she said, one time I must go. She I just believe she my seed online. Things work just work out. But I'm convinced. I'm when the senior six years old, she asked her why you just pay us, just take her and go. You just saw Pastor is coming. Yadia Jacobulao Rainbow. Pastor Kanye was Rainbow. Just believe her. Go with your seed. Write the points you want to go. 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 The very points she wrote are the very points she got when the results came back. She had never experienced this. Nobody can take her from the God of Miracle Center. Just believe. Don't you? Kill is a Pay your seat. Write what you want. From your heart or anywhere. It will come. Thank you very much. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Why don't you lift up your hand? Say, Dear Lord, touch my hand. Let the fever go. I arise to minister hear the word of the Lord in these next seven days you will be amazed what the Lord has done through you in Jesus name hallelujah my name is Namwewe Ishabela she was brought here from school she was badly off. She could hardly walk. She was afraid to walk. Thinking she would pass out anywhere. She would attend class. She would be afraid to come close to kids. She would faint. She fainted. She could be unconscious. When she would gain consciousness, they would tell her. She didn't want anybody to come close. She was violent. She spent like four hours and above. I freeze. You would be afraid. Even my friends were afraid of her. Thinking she would die. 
Taking her to Masaka Referral Hospital. They examined but couldn't diagnose a disease. My mother had a friend there, he was a doctor. Now connecting an answer to my own gamba and to the school nurse to the hospital. The doctor told them. Doctor Doctor the mother, they didn't want to tell her what the case was. That she has a problem on the brain. And any time she could run mad any time. The the mother, she must be kept at home without any She was in a terrible shape. When she fainted, when it had just come. She would see people drunk. Whenever she tried to she could not speak. Whenever she tried to speak a word, nobody would hear her. Then she saw people bury her. Because if she said, I'm here, they could not drink the She would see people bury her. She would wake up when she's called. Everybody was afraid of her. People started abandoning her. Nobody wanted to come close to her. Everybody was afraid of her. My grandfather was a member here. Called the mom and said, bring the girl. She was conscious by the time she came in. When she woke up, I mean, she would be okay. The last time she realized what happened was when she was walking in. It was 14th of July last year. Last year. She had uh, been wrapped in ropes right there. She was looking for somebody who tied up the ropes. She wanted to die with that person. Something was telling her, look for that person. How can they do such a thing to you? When the pastor stepped to the pulpit, he started praying. She, she was fighting that thing she was fed up of that attack it had stopped her from going to school whenever the teacher would come she would lose her consciousness when the pastor started praying she regained her consciousness the mother brought her close to the pulpit when the pastor asked, at that time, at that time she could understand what was happening. She was carried to the pulpit, pastor anointed and delivered her from the spirit master. of death. Since then, that attack has never come back. Somebody get up on your feet and clap your hands to Jesus. She went back to school and for a whole week everybody who saw her said what happened to you? They were used to carrying her to the sick bay every day. She she I don't know what God did but God delivered me and I'm okay. From the day Pastor delivered her from the spirit of death, she was afraid. What is she going to sit when she's out of her mind? She did not run mad. She has never fainted again. The vision she would see when they are burying her, calling people who could not hear her. Or her. She no longer sees that. She's no longer having those bad dreams. She's no longer. The God of this place set up. Out there, he knew that she would bring herself here. She walked all the way here. She would fear to walk out of the dormitory. She would fear to walk out of the dormitory. She would fear to fall on the compound. 
Gantangan mwenti sanga bafulu madom ne sigala mwingi ngasagala genda mclass gantia in the dormitory because she was afraid Nakati ntambula Today she is able to walk Buli wenza gala ngenda She is able to go wherever she wants Katonda yasumulula God set her free Tewachali chinumba No more attacks in her life Hallelujah Praise be back to the Lord Hichitibwa chidide mokama Thank you, Brother, for praying me. I appreciate everything for the Lord. My God, my God. What's your name? How can I say thanks? How can I say thanks for all you've done for me? And you'll be head of your class. You'll be smarter. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. How can I say thanks? To God. the glory to God be the glory Ministers, ushers, let's distribute all the communion element, please.
talked about the blood of Jesus. We talked about the, the cross. We talked about the power of the kingdom of God. Saints, one of the greatest things you should never compromise is the blood, is the cross. It's the resurrection of Jesus. It is the Holy Spirit. We are living in a time whereby it is easy to be religious than being relational with God. It is easy for us to fall into the line for of the simple the God we serve is a mighty God is a powerful God he does miracles. He does wonders. He's powerful. He made the heaven and earth. He made us. He knows us. He knows our frame. He knew us before we were in the womb of our mothers. And he knows what we are going through. All he needs is for you to believe in him. Believe in what he did. It's not the man that does this. It is Jesus, the Son of God. So he said, do this in remembrance of me. Do this in remembrance of me. Before he died, he took bread and he took the drink. Things we do on a daily basis. It's amazing how Jesus loves us. He takes the things we always use daily. Because we eat, we drink. We eat, we drink. And he says, okay, if you want to remember me, just do what you do daily. Just involve me in what you do daily. It's not a complex. It's, it's not sophisticated. Mr. Mayor, he simply said, just do what you do daily. As you wake up in the morning, you take a shower, you dress up. As you do that, just do that. Just do that. Wake up in the morning, cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Put on the garment of praise and go to work. Uh, uh, what we do daily walking with Jesus is not complicated it's not a religious thing it's just take what you do daily and involve me in that take the bread take the drink this is my body this is my blood in the morning as you take a shower you dress to go to work take a shower brush your teeth with the word of God have a word on your mouth have a word on your mouth this is the day the Lord has made I'll be glad and rejoice this is the day for my miracle cover yourself with the blood put on the garment of praise get out of the door you will be successful walking with Jesus is not complicated living for Jesus is not complicated 
He said, as he gives you, you give him. As, as, as he blesses you, you bless him. When you do that, you're going to live a victorious life. You're going to live a victorious life. By his stripes, we were here. He is our Savior. He is our Lord So if you have not received the Holy Communion, lift your hand. They will serve you. If you have received, stand up. We give you praise, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. You told us to do this remembrance of you, Lord. Father, today we remember you as our healer, as our savior, as our redeemer. We remember you, your mighty God. Satan, you have no power to kill us, to destroy us. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. Somebody say, Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. We plead the blood of our family, of our lives, of our bodies, of our spirits. We plead the blood of Jesus. You are our Savior. You are our Redeemer. You are our Comforter. You are our God. Holy Spirit, come upon me. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Touch this bread. Touch this drink. Let it be your power to heal me. I believe it. By your stripes, I am healed. By your blood, I am saved. By your word, I am preserved. Thank you, Jesus. You are a miracle worker. You are a wonderful Lord. I will bless your name. I will testify. I will give you the glory. Yesterday, today, and forever, you are the same. Touch my body. Touch my liver. Touch my kidney. Touch my heart. Touch my brain. Touch my name. Touch my body. I believe in you. I trust in you. You are my God. I will trust in you. 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 You are the rock of ages. You are my God. You are my Savior. You are my redeemer in Jesus' mighty name. Of deliverance whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Let the weak say. In the strength of the Lord, you are my hiding place, you always hear my heart in songs of deliverance. You are my hiding place. You always hear my heart with songs of deliverance wherever I am afraid. Trust in you. I will trust in you. Let the weak say, I am strong in the strength of the Lord. You are my hiding place. You are 
As we eat your body, Lord, and as we drink your blood, you release your healing power. You set the captives free. Death will leave. Infirmity will disappear. Cancer will die. Life will be given. You will restore us. You will rebuild us. You will fill us. Precious Holy Spirit, we trust in you. We believe in you. We acknowledge you. You are our God. You are our Savior. Now everybody open your mouth. Say, I believe in the blood. I believe in the body of Jesus Christ. He is my Savior. He is my Redeemer. He is my Comforter. He will remove every barrenness, every death, every sickness, every disease. He will set me free. He will heal me. He is my God. He is my Savior. He is my Redeemer. He is my God. I believe in you. I trust in you. You are my defense. You are my healer. You are my protector. Jesus. 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 Heal my body. Heal my mind. Heal my finances. Heal my life. Dear Lord Jesus, I trust in you. I trust in you. I trust in you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen. You can eat the bread. Thank you, Jesus. You will shout hallelujah glory seven times. The power of God will surge through this congregation. Our healer Jesus is here by his stripes we are healed. By his stripes we are healed. He forgives our sins and he heals all our diseases. It is our benefit. It is our benefit as believers. Power is available to heal you. The Lord will do wonders in Jesus' name. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise, Jesus. You can drink. Glory, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah, 
Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now start praying to the Lord with a voice loud and clear. The healer is in the house. The Savior is in the house. The deliverer is in the house. The healer is in the house. Come on and pray. Ask him to touch you. Ask him to heal you. Ask him to deliver you. Ask him to set you free. Come on ask. Come on ask. His power is available. His grace is available. He's our healer. He's bringing healing. Hania is disappearing. Diseases are disappearing. Cancer is disappearing. Pain is disappearing. Pain is sickness and disease. Fear is disappearing. Paralysis is disappearing. In the mighty name of Jesus, the healer is in the house. Jesus of Nazareth is here today to touch you, to heal you, to set you free. In the name of Jesus, we come against every principality. We come against every sickness. We come against every disease. We come against every infirmity. You spit of death. You spit of witchcraft. You spit of poverty. You spit of lack. You misfortune. You curse. You barrenness. You jealous. You envy. You enmity. You forces of evil, we tell you part. You diseases, leave our animals, leave our farmlands, leave our lives. You insecurity, you situation, we rebuke you, we command you, disappear. Diseases go in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Lord, thank you for your power, thank you for your spirit. Descend on every man. On every woman, heal them, Lord. Set them free. Heal their legs. Heal their skin. Heal their infirmity. Glorify your name, Jesus. Glorify your name, Jesus. Glorify your name, Jesus. Heal your people. I rebuke every sickness. I rebuke every disease. I rebuke every infirmity. I rebuke every sphere. I rebuke every every attack. I rebuke every pain. You devil leave. Never come back again. Get off their skin. Get off their eyes. Get off their liver. Get off their kidney. Get off their heart. Get off their blood. You leukemia. You emphysema. You asthma. You osteoporosis. You poverty. You debt. We rebuke you. We adjure you. Get out of the people. You demon of paralysis. Get off the people's lives. Get off and be lost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, descend yourself upon this ground and heal every man. Heal every woman. Even those watching by television. Wherever they are. Overseas. Let your power touch them. All of them. Men and women, heal them, Father. Release the surging power of the Holy Spirit. Surge and charge and heal and set free. Oh Lord, we break every bondage. We break every yoke. We break every situation. By the grace of God, by the power of God, by the anointing of God, we give you the praise, Lord. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. Yesterday, today, and forever your kingdom come your will be done be healed of every infirmity be healed of every disease be healed of every situation in your family in your home in your businesses in your lives the same power that raised Jesus from the dead no more paralysis no more sickness no more diseases Lord open the eyes of the blind Lord touch every man and every woman. Lord, we pray.
pray. Fight our battles. Draw the sword of Gideon. Lord, ravage the camp of the enemy. Throw them in total confusion. Throw them in total confusion. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, fight for your church. Defend your church. Father, we bind the spirit of religion. The spirit of controlling your church. Lord, overthrow it. Every plot. Every scheming. Every religious way. Every forces of darkness. Lord, your church. The gates of hell shall not prevail against your church. Lord, you will stand. Lord, you will stand. Lord, you will stand. Lord, you will stand. Your word will stand. Your word will be stand. Your word will stand by the power that raised you from the dead. You are the mighty God. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God of Elijah, God of Moses, God of Paul, God of Peter, God of the other church, rise up in this land, rise up in this land, may you be hard all over, for you are mighty Lord, for you are powerful Lord, we will trust in you, we believe in you, glorify your name, glorify your name, glorify your son, glorify your son, dear Lord Jesus, glorify your son, in this place today, with miracle signs and wonders, with miracle signs and wonders, spirit of a living God, with miracle signs and wonders, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, let the prophetic stand, let the preaching stand, let the apostolic stand, let the pastoral stand, let the gift of teaching rise up, let the evangelism rise up, Lord I give you praise, I give you praise Jesus, glorify your name, glorify your name, with all the earth, in Jesus mighty name, glorify your name, glorify your name, Every sickness and every disease. People lift up your hand. Lift your hand and say, Jesus, touch me. Heal me. 
Deliver me. Sumurura. Set me free. Fura wa dembe. I feel your power. I feel your spirit. I feel your move. I feel your power. Breathe on me. Fua kwa muka. Rest on me. Pumurira. And set me free. E fure wa dembe. I feel your healing. Pumurira kwa na All over my body. Pumurira kwa ngeko na. In my family. Mufamile ya. In my home. Mumakaga. I am not sick. Siri muruwa. Pain is gone. Mumurumi bugenzi. Paralysis is gone. Sanya la kugenzi. I can see. I can hear. Thank you, Jesus. I am prosperous. You have blessed me. You have healed me. You have set me free. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Someone came with a honey. The Lord has just healed you. Someone came with a wound in the bottom of your foot. The Lord has just touched you. Someone came with the pain in the neck. The Lord has healed you. Your upper jaw and lower jaw on the left side of your body has been in terrible pain. The Lord is healing you. Someone you are feeling like you have a headache or a tumor on your head. The Lord has set you free. Someone's knee was in pain. The Lord has just healed you. The Lord has just set you free. Someone had a problem with your back. The Lord has just healed you. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Somebody you've been using a walker, a stick, to walk, to walk. The Lord has just healed you. Now get up, do what you could not do before. If you've been using a stick, or crutch, lift it up, start walking. If you couldn't bend, bend. The Lord has healed you. Do what you could not do before. Do before. For the Lord has set you free. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your sticks and start walking in Jesus' name. What a mighty God. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Miracles are already happening. Miracles are already happening. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. Healer is in the house. He's in the house. In Jesus' name. It's miraculous. That's a genuine redeemed through Calvary. I've seen a lily push its way or throw a stubborn sword. <laughs> I believe in me. The soul set free is miraculous. The changing one redeemed through Calvary. I've seen a lily push its way or through. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. I believe in miracles. If the Lord has healed you, you are set free. Come stand this side. The pain is gone. The situation is gone. You are alive. You can walk. Just stand over here. The Lord is healing. Changing one. Redeem through Calvary. its way or through a stubborn sword I believe in me because for I believe in God rise and be in the name
touch you and make me whole. Yes. What did you come to Chamagazi? Awona. Kafuma wobu julisi. Miaka munane jise. Abade ne buedio. Very painful. He couldn't walk. He couldn't take any step. When you say that one of wisdom. Kavuma took faith. Kavuma and God has healed him. Katonda monyeza. Oh my God. Oh my God. You move around. Move around. Move around. We told you. My God. My God. My God. Reach out to him. He promised he will heal your every need. And he will restore. How do you feel? Oh, you don't hear. It is hard. 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 It is Touch Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. He will heal you. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Pastor, this is Joy Bamwine. You gave a word of wisdom that somebody with severe headache is getting healed. For the last 30 years, she has lived with migraine headache. She believed in the word of wisdom and she called upon Jesus and the headache of 30 years has left in a tink of an eye. My God, my God. 30 years. I've had this headache for 30 years, Pastor. Now, this time it came on Good Friday. I've been in pain. I've taken all the tablets. I moved the tablets all the time. It developed high blood pressure. So, I came today when I'm in terrible pain. But now I feel better. Never suffer those things. Touch. In Jesus' name. Rise and be. You'll never suffer again. I give you praise, Jesus. Pastor, this is not Sunday. You gave a word of wisdom regarding the wound on the foot. Not Sunday has been suffering with diabetic wound. She has lived with diabetes for 30 years. The wound has the, uh, the pain is no more. The numbness has gone. She's here to glorify Jesus. How long have you had the wound? For four months. 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 Pastor, this is Nakalans. You gave a word of wisdom that somebody with painful knees is getting healed. Nakalans believed the word. She's here to testify that the pain has disappeared. God is faithful. How long have you had the need? Three months. Just walk there. Walk faster. Tamburango Yangua. Just kick your legs. Samba Mapuruka Botambura. You're every day. How do you feel now? Katuri Rotan Nakaraz. Tainabu Mibuan. Tainabu Mibuan. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we are. 
Thank you, Lord. Yes. Pastor, this is baby Isaac. The baby came with severe fever. Had lost appetite. During Holy Communion, the mother gave the baby Holy Communion. The fever is no more. The baby is asking for food. He has given her food. He has given her soda and a cake. And he has eaten. Jesus is faithful. My God. You, you came with your baby was when he was sick. Yes, he has been suffering and with the fever I for two weeks. It started when he was six months. When the temperature comes, it, it, it can't disappear. When you try to give the painkillers, you, you, you will feel like over you are adding that the fever. But yesterday, the other day on Wednesday, I went to Naguru Hospital. They tested him, the malaria is not there, but the baby is hot. You can touch the legs, it's cool. When you touch up here, it's hot. It disappears from here and comes here. The baby was just closing the eyes. So yesterday, I didn't have transport to come. Transport then I said, God, I have to go to church. I got that transport. I said, God, today I want to go before tomorrow. So yesterday I came when the rain was raining. The baby was full of the fever. But pastor, you said about the fever. God has answered me. My baby is sweating. It's now sweating. It's not... Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Be blessed. Never suffer again. In Jesus' name. This is Namsoke Susan. For the last four years, he has been suffering mysterious pain around the back and the neck. Pastor, you gave a word of wisdom that somebody has severe pain around the neck and around the shoulder. Namso on Tuesday, she said, let me go and sow a seed of three million. Believe in God for healing. She went back. The pain persisted. But today, when you gave a word of wisdom, suddenly, Pastor, the pain has disappeared. No more pain at all. She's here to glorify God. My God, how long have you had the pain? For four years, Pastor. For four years, Pastor. Whenever she goes back at her workplace, she goes back at her workplace. Wherever she goes, whenever she goes to the shop, that attack comes. And the shop is full of uh, insects. Even when she removes the cobwebs, they return. There is an empty bottle there, a little, little bottle with a glass on my desk. Empty, empty bottle. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lift your hand. Is he? To worship us. We're here. The Holy One. The one we came to adore. He's here. of the Lord.
praise Jesus. I give you praise Jesus. There will be no witchcraft on you. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Touch. I give you praise, Jesus. The Lord, release your grace. Release your grace. Lord. Release your grace. Release your grace. Release your grace. Release your grace. Release your grace, Jesus. Jesus, Release your grace. Let your presence go with them. this oil anoint where you work you'll never suffer again yes this is Bamwine from Kazo. For the last seven years, he's a known patient of hepatitis B. He came with severe abdominal pain, severe joints. He could not bend. He could not jump. Pastor, when you prayed for the sick, Bamwine can now jump. He can now bend. He can turn all sides. No more pain at all. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Lift your hand. Wanike Mikono. Jesus. Yes. Totally set him free. From this hepatitis. Lord. The spirit of death. Leave this young man. Touch all his spirit. Go away. Go away. In Jesus' name, you go to the doctors. They will tell you what the Lord has done for you. In Jesus' name. Pastor, this is Bira. Alice. On 3rd of March, she got a motor accident. The rest passed away. And God preserved her. But when during her healing, the shoulder developed a contracture. She did not. So when you said somebody with a with a shoulder pain is getting healed, she believed in the word of wisdom. She can now testify that suddenly she had her shoulder cracked and she was able to stretch her arm in Jesus' name. My God, you could not do that. She could not pastor. I can see the wounds. I can see the wound on your head. You what? What are you doing? Huh? She returns the glory to God. My God, my God. Many people died. Get the hand up there, yeah? Three people passed away. She she had been 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 she she was in severe pain, Pastor. So you could not raise that hand. But she could not use it. All along in worship, she was like that. Easy. Just lift your hand. 
Wanike miko. I give you praise, Jesus. Yesu kutendeleza. I give you praise, Jesus. Kutendeleza Yesu. Be here. Uonyeze bwanyabo. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Kubira Yesu ingaleza amani. Give you praise, Jesus. Kutendeleza Yesu. Ina mi. Thank you Lord for her life. In Jesus name. Amen. Yes. Pastor, this is Rule. Towards the Easter holidays. He got an accident of border border motorcycle. He came with severe pain. He could not stretch his arm. When you prayed for the sick, Rule testified that he felt fireworks passing through his body. And suddenly his arm was stretching. The pain has disappeared. He's glorifying God. What happened to you, young man? The road side, the car was going to be a car. The car was going to be a car. The car was going to be a car. Everybody thought he was dead. The lady paid for the medical bills. He was in the hospital for three days. He paid for the medical bills. He was in the hospital for three days. He was in the hospital for three days. The motorbike was just gone. Whoever saw the bike thought he had finished. He could not stretch the arm. But now, he was able to fold and stretch the arm. He could not hold with it. There was a dislocation. Yes. 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 He beat There's a hole in the wound right there. Wound. He had a wound right there. It is still fresh. Still fresh. He just He's not yet started eating hard food. He beat his when was the accident? Sunday, 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 he could not hold before. Easy. Jesus. Jesus. Spirit of death. We you puke you in Jesus. Name. We give you praise, Jesus. Yes, to contend it is. Raise your hands, saints. Someone get him one hundred thousand shillings money for me. Lift your hands, hands. Moani ke mi kona ba tu kuvu. Is here, hands. Wali wano ba tu kuvu. The master is here. Mokama fe wali wano. The master is here. Mokama fe wali wano. The king of kings is here. Kaba kawa ba kaba kawa wali wano. No one can do these works but him. No one. No one. No one. No one. I know you have needs. I know you have situations. I know you have things you are believing God for. So lift your hands and talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. What do you need? What do you want? Come on, is here. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, start by calling his name seven times. And after the seventh time, you start asking. You start praying. You start believing. You start calling on his name. Is here. 
Come on, talk to him, talk to him. Whatever you need is here. He's here to grant it. He's here to give it to you. He's here to help you. He's here. He's here. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to the Lord. Pray. You shall receive. Seek. You will find. No. The door will be open. He's the Holy One of Israel. Dear Lord Jesus, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. You are a God of answers. You are a God of miracles. Lord, I pray for all these people here. Come on, saints, us. The anointing is increasing. The power is all over here. The grace is all over here. The Lord is touching you. The Lord is healing you. The Lord is blessing you. The Holy Spirit is here. Heavenly Father, do wonders. Help your people. Minister to them. Each one of them. Lord, open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Lord, grant their blessings. Touch their lives. You are holy, Lord. You are mighty. Lord. You are powerful, Lord. Yesterday, today, and forever. Thank you, Jesus. You are granting them opportunities, contracts. You are doing things they have never seen before. Stretch your hand. This is your place. We are your people. Lord, touch our hands. Touch our hands. Let the fever go. Let the fever go. Let the fever go. Leave. Let the fever go. Jesus of Nazareth, let your people rise up. We arise to minister. We arise to minister to evangelize this land, to bring this nation to you. Dear Lord Jesus, you are holy and mighty to establish plans, to fight poverty, to create work, to create employment. Jesus of Nazareth, your people rise. Your people for us to serve you, to minister to you, to take over the land. I pray, prosper their work, touch their work, increase their work, bless their families, bless their businesses. Lord, we pray today, let the Holy Spirit move mightily, Lord. Show yourself strong. Show yourself strong. Help your church. Help your people. Those who are called by your name. Lord, glorify your name. Exalt your name. Magnify your name. You are mighty, Lord. You are powerful, Lord. We will praise you. We will exalt you. We will lift your name. Prosper our partners. Those who stand with us. Those who pray with us. Those who encourage us. Use them mightily, Lord. Use them mightily, Lord. Open doors for them. Pay their debts. Remove all the problems. Remove all the sickness. Remove all the diseases. Lord, establish your kingdom. Thank you for the victory. You have given your people. You have given this house. You have given this people. You have given their name. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. I pray today. Come on, pray. Pray, child of God. May you have a breakthrough. May what you do succeed. May what you touch succeed. In the next seven days, I release the anointing, the seven anointings of faith, of power, of grace, of signs and wonders. May everything that was in the negative turn into the positive. May everything that was obsessed against you be defeated. May the grace of God increase upon your life. May you rise. May you arise. May you arise. May you 
everything you touch may the grace of God may the power of God may the spirit of God crown everything you do thank you heavenly father move among our young people move among the women among the men among the workers Lord save the people save this nation put your hand on this nation save this nation bring souls in the kingdom of God in your kingdom my heavenly father draw your people draw people to your name draw your people to revive draw your people to the spirit spirit of a living God move across move across spirit of a living God move across draw people to your kingdom draw men and women into your kingdom save them shield us Lord with the blood of Jesus promote your people reposition your people redesign for your people increase for your people pour your spirit upon them take them to a level they have never known Lord give them land give them houses give them farmlands give them vineyards grant my father release resources release resources release and bless 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 those in Singapore those in Australia those in Malaysia those in Indonesia China those who are called by your name America, Europe Father touch them in the name of Jesus South America, Central America we pray for Israel we pray my Father that your hand will be stretched you will protect Israel shield them more than you can be shielded the threat they have shot them and defeat them we give you the praise we give you the glory we give you the honor you are mighty Lord you are powerful Lord your kingdom come your will be done on earth heavenly father in the name of Jesus the son of the living God defeat our enemies we declare your glory we stand on the promises we stand on the promises that cannot fail your promises that you gave your people will stand it will never fail we hold on to it we stand on to it we stand on to it we kneel on it we eat your promises we walk in your promises we live on your promises your word is real Lord confirm your word to your servant Lord confirm your word in the name of Jesus confirm your word confirm your word my Lord my God my Lord my God I decree and declare oh protect preserve us so service Father, whatever we have, guide it according to your power, according to your spirit. Promote your people, promote your servants. We decree and declare your glory is revealed. We will rejoice in you, we will praise in you, we will exalt in you, we will magnify in you, we will exalt in you by the power of the Holy Ghost. My Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer, my Comforter, my Deliverer, my Lord, you are holy, 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 you are holy,
God, favor, power, in the name of Jesus, we stand on the word of God, we stand my father, confirm your word, 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 hallelujah, glory to God, father help the body to have children, help those who are get married, to get married, those who are starting business, they will be successful, those who need money, they will have, those who need children, they will have, those who need visas, they will have, those who need help, they will have, those who need joy, they will have, those who are overcoming, promotion my father, bless their families, bless their children, open the door, open the door, mighty God, open the door, release the miracle, open the door, Jehovah God, release the anointing, release the anointing, release the anointing, release the anointing, Lord, revive your church, Lord, revive your church, visit your church, visit your people, we will praise you, we will adore you, we will exalt you, we will magnify you, we will bless your name, you are holy, 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 protect, preserve us, shield us with your blood, shield us with a two-edged sword, angels of the Lord, encamp us around this nation, Lord, thank you, whatever we do is blessed, whatever we touch is blessed, you have given us wealth of dark secret places, we will praise you, you deliver us from death, you deliver us from sickness, you deliver us from pain, you deliver your people, Lord, I command the heavens to open and pour down blessings upon each one of us here today, upon every man and every woman, upon every boy and every girl. Increase the wisdom of our children, the intelligence here. My Father, the wisdom of God, whatever they touch is blessed today. Holy Spirit, take over. Holy Spirit, speed up. Holy Spirit, release. Holy Spirit, guide and power and provide release I give you praise glory I give you praise Father in Jesus name everyone who came here looking for a miracle Father give them one give them one give them a miracle give them a breakthrough give them a solution give them an answer I command you receive your miracle I command you receive Receive your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command you receive your blessing, receive your finances, receive your increase. I release the favor, I release the prosperity. Receive it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. in the name of Jesus. No weapon from the against you shall prosper. The Lord is with you, the Lord will keep you, the Lord will guide you, the Lord will shield you. The Lord the Lord will defend you. The Lord will fight for you. The Lord will favor you. The Lord will guide you. The Lord will raise you up. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will make his face shine upon you in your going, in your coming, in your standing. Everywhere you go, God will be with you. God will be with you. God will shield you. God will protect you. God will comfort you. God will provide for you. It is yours. It is yours. It is yours. Take it. Take it. Receive it. In Jesus name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. 21 times. Uh...
God for your miracles. Thank Him for the breakthrough. Come on, lift up your hand and just love. Come on, doctor. Come here, doctor. Oh God of glory, great things are happening. Great things are happening. You are praying. And the Spirit of the Lord told me to tell you that great things are happening. Great things are happening. Great things are happening. In Jesus' name. Something incredible is happening. Come here, Pastor. Pastor Lady, come here quickly. The Spirit of the Lord is, 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 is moving. God is going to do wonderful. The heavens are open. The heavens are opening. The heavens are opening. The heavens are opening. Jesus name in the name of Jesus in the name of Jehovah God Almighty in the name of Jehovah God Almighty the Lord is doing wonderful things in Jesus name come here Sibo come here Something is happening. What do we check in the mass? What do we check in the mass? Something is happening to you. The Lord is doing something wonderful. You two ladies come here quickly. Rabo shatara, rabo shatara, rabo. In the presence of Jehovah, God Almighty, something is happening. What do we check in the You've been waiting for it. It is happening. It's happening. Oh. It's gonna be marvelous. She can never Something is happening. Something is happening. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. Something is happening. So far, come here. Something incredible is happening. In the presence of Jehovah. Something has happened. Something has happened. Oh, it's like you have just begun. It's like you have just begun. Troubles vanish. Hearts are mended in the presence of the King. In His presence. In His holy presence. In his presence, in his holy presence, touch the presence of the Lord. In his presence, in his holy presence, the weary can be blessed, the broken heart. Restore in his presence. I give you praise, Jesus. In his holy presence. There's nothing like the presence of the Lord. Woo! Touch in his presence. Touch in his holy presence. Touch the weary God. In His presence, I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise, Jesus. There's nothing like the presence of the Lord. I give you praise, Jesus. In His presence, in His holy presence, touch the weary God. Is happening. Why do we get the mass? Something is happening. Why do we chili mukubao? There's nothing like the presence of the Lord. In his presence, I give you.
give you praise, Jesus, in His holy presence. There we will can perfect place the broken heart, restore in His presence, in His holy presence. Fresh, yeah. There is nothing like the presence of the Lord. There's nothing like the presence of the Lord. Touch Aquatico in His presence. Touch Aquatico in His holy presence. Touch Holy Spirit. Aquatico. There is nothing like the presence of the Lord. In His presence. Touch Aquatico in His holy. There's nothing like the presence of the Lord in His presence, in His holy presence. I give you praise, Jesus. There is nothing like the presence of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, in his presence, touch in his holy presence. Something wonderful is happening. Something wonderful is happening. Father, just come here. His holy presence. There's nothing like something wonderful is happening. The presence of the Lord. I give you praise, Jesus. In His presence. The Holy Spirit is moving and He's going to do wonderful things. He's already doing wonderful things. These next seven days are days of you seeing things you have never seen before. The heavens are open. The Lord is pouring His blessing on you. He's pouring His power on you. Raise your hand and receive it. Even those of you watching, in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord, for what you have done for us. What a marvelous God you are. What a powerful God you are. We will bless your name. We will thank you, Lord. We will magnify you. In the name of Jesus, your business is going to grow 300%. The Lord is taking your business to another level. In the name of Jesus, 
Jesus. Everything you do, everything you touch from today is under a blessing of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, lift up your hand and rejoice. Lift your hand and rejoice. Lift your hand and rejoice. Hand and rejoice. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, glory to God. Come on, clap your hands. Rejoice. Love. Lift up the name of Jesus. I'm going to dance and praise Him.